you want to go walkies? I know, I know. Should we get out the car? And go zoom zoom? Over the last few weeks we've had a lot of people ask us where we've disappeared to and whether we're still going to be filming and what we're doing. So we've been quiet because we have put filming on the back burner whilst we get ready, whilst we get the house ready and whilst we get ourselves organised to go. It's quite difficult trying to organise everything and still work full time. Chris and I will not be quitting our jobs when we go. Because we both work remotely, we have an opportunity to continue working, take sailing and cruising at a slow pace and do things in a somewhat different manner than a lot of people do. So with that comes a little bit of a time limitation on our abilities to film at the moment. I think our time will free up a lot more, or at least I hope it will, when we finally get underway. But until then, um, do I excuse our videos being a little bit sporadic? I'm hoping that when Ragdoll launches, we'll be able to film a little bit more. We'll have the time to do so because over the last six months, I can hand on heart say that we've spent 90% of our free time either planning our wedding or being in a boatyard. And it's difficult to film and edit and do everything else in between that, at least in a way that would come across well, because we have filmed here and there, but it's been so sporadic that it doesn't really make sense to put it in a video. So the boys are very excited to move board and from my perspective I'm a little bit nervous. This is going to be a very very big change for us. Um, homeschooling, three dogs, making you know passages. It's um there's a lot to it although given that we've already been spending months aboard the boat um, each year anyway through the summers and our holidays and generally speaking getting out and about we got hit by a branch. Um, I think we will be okay. I think it's wholly expected to have the nerves of sort of leaving our house. Um, it's an enormous change for us, but I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be um, a lot easier than I'm imagining in my head. More than anything, I'm looking forward to the sunshine and doing all of this with the dogs. I say that as she's rolling in whatever muck she found in the woods. Why are you green? So here is a snapshot of our last few months of boat projects. Throughout winter we have been working on our solar arch to boost our newly fitted hybrid lithium battery bank. The arch is not far off being complete and will give us over 800 watts of solar. Plenty for our induction cooking needs. Throughout winter our bunk cabin became a wardrobe and a utility room with plenty of storage and of course a washing machine. And there's even space for a water maker in there. Stay tuned for our DIY water maker build. So, following the success of that cabin refit, we moved on to the opposite side and are currently in the process of turning that bunk cabin into a bright, airy single cabin for Jasper with a huge amount of underbed storage. And last but not least, we undertook the awkward job of ripping apart our saloon and fitting a new table, extending our seating area, replacing our foam cushions and sewing new covers for them. That project is now about 98% complete.
mic. <laughs> And the boat setting sail with their journey began, with camels of waters most helpful of women. And if they should stumble upon turbulent sea, may it pass them on harmony, the women. For here are two people whom love has well bitten. Here opens their book, which has yet to be written. As the first page unfolds and their life into its path, may it write a true story where forever love lasts. Let their journey be happy till death do they part. Of one thousand chapters, we this to start. So, by these declarations, may the my presence and before these witnesses and your friends and your family, you, Prince of the Billy, and you, Sally of Corbett, are now legally married and you may congratulate each other if you wish. Time Travellers by Terra Cox May you take on the world together with all your hopes and dreams. May you be each other's anchor in smooth or rocky seas. May you bend to the world's winds and brave souls and storms. May you find common ground in all its changing forms. May you cross stubborn boundaries and turn many a stone. May you find haven for your souls. May you have heart and home, and if some days are grey and some nights are long and cold, may you be each other's sun and moon as your destinies unfold. And should you lose sight of each other and start to drift apart, may you circle back by following the compass of your heart. Most recently we have prepped the boat for anti-fouling, anti-fouled our prop and began compounding the hull. But more on that next time. So if you're still watching, thanks for watching, stick with us, like and drop us a comment if you like our content and we will hopefully see you soon. Till next time!